Oh. Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to Back to Basics Monday night. It's always awesome to have you guys all on board and really appreciate each and every one of you um, hopping on and learning. I must say the training this week and in um, the various cities around with regards to the information that we learned was absolutely amazing. And then of course the information that we're going to be learning and looking at is one of the entities that um, we covered and that was the watch party. So we need to make sure that people know how to do watch parties. Um, Andrew's planning a very big watch party that's going to be up and coming and that's going to be in October. We'll have some more information on that for the exact date and time. But uh, we need to all get ourselves ready. If you want to make money, you need to learn how to do watch parties. And they're very exciting for those of you who all watched um, GoPro last year. And whether you went there live or whether you did one of the, the sessions, you will remember that Jesse Lee Ward, um, our eccentric uh, speaker, and uh, how uh, she was a really cool speaker. I loved her. I thought she was really great. Uh, Jessie Lee Wall was super and she's been teaching us how to do watch parties and she gets over 90,000 to 120,000 people on a watch party. So can you imagine exploding the exposure of your business or your uh, the profession that you do um, into that area? So that's what we're going to be looking at. Robert, how are you doing? Good to have you all the way here as well. Great. Um, awesome to have everybody on board. Um, I was on my side. Um, okay, George, I don't know why it says you're not muted on this side, but no hassle. As long as you don't sneeze and uh, lower hand. All right, so we'll see how it goes from there. Now, before we go on, are there any questions anybody would like to ask? And we can see if somebody on this group would be able to answer. Is there anyone that we know that would like to just ask a question or two? Or are we all good? Great. It looks like we're all good. Great. I love it. Okay. So welcome Yogi and Jan and Philip and oh my goodness, all the Albies and Eleni all the way from Zimbabwe. I was chatting to, to someone in Zim today and I was like, what do you people even spend your money on? You go to work and you, <laughs> but you can't spend it on petrol. You can't spend it on electricity. You can't spend it on anything. Um, so yes, uh, Robert, most of us are battling with the platinum KYC and carrot bit. Um, it is a, there is um, upgrades of systems, how's it merge? Upgrades of systems and things like that that are happening that they're just really trying to keep on top of this. And also they are busy training a whole lot of new um, support people. So things are going a little bit slower under support. So hopefully, I think they're trying to get them, themselves ready for the big um, November, December. So let's just, hopefully we can get that right. But what I would like to suggest is that if you have got, um, um, Yes, I agree. Um, Android and iOS are completely different for watch parties. I agree. So, Barbara, we're going to stick with the good old Android because most of us have that. So, um, uh, if you want to know how to do a watch party on a iOS, then Google. <laughs> I'm not going to hear your Google tonight. Okay. All right. So, maybe somebody can do an iOS video recording for us. Um, going back to, yes, please, what I have found to fast track um, any of my hiccups is I've physically done the KYC and then also a day or two later, if it hasn't gone through, I haven't sent a, I've sent them an email and then obviously the moment I get my email response, I pick up the phone and phone them. Then I know somebody's already looking at my profile, somebody's already responding to it. So then I phone them personally and have a chat to them personally. And I find it speeds up a lot of things. Then um, when you get hold of the guys, they, they're really, really helpful um, on, the, on the, the support. Okay, so, so that's super awesome. Natalie, Andrew, Harris Cities, welcome. We've missed you. Um, we really wish you were there. But I know you had a lovely family wedding. Or well, you're um, looking after grandkids and that kind of thing. So awesome. Okay, guys, watch parties. What's the purpose of a watch party? And why would one even have a watch party? And how does it actually work? Well, what we're trying to do is we're actually trying to expand um, our reach. Okay, so most of us are shy to do our own Facebook lives and things like that on our, on our Facebook. So what you can do is if you know that um, somebody is going live, <clears throat> sorry, if Andrew Eaton's going live or um, somebody in the top 10 is going live, Susie's going live, apparently um, 
Jenny in Zimbabwe did a beautiful live the other day and um, from just speaking about Zimbabwe and the situation in Zimbabwe. And she's already had over a thousand some people, um, you know, watching to listen. So if you know somebody else has done a live or something like that, you can actually play that video through a watch party, which is far more successful than if you just repost that video onto your page. So I could share it and post it onto my page. What happens with that is that it goes into someone else's um, stream and it just starts getting lost in their, in their um, feed, their news feed. And so the chances of them actually seeing it again is, is very slim. Okay, so with a watch with the watch party, what it does, it actually immediately keeps it um, live, and anybody who pops past your Facebook live, it, even though the feed is running, it's it keeps them on there. They do say that really nice um, Facebook lives to get the most interaction from is just on thirty minutes. All right, which means that people are going to come on and they're going to jump off because not everybody will stay for the full 30 minutes. But what does happen is they're able to, to, to hop on and, and, and share a little bit of interest that's there. So when you are doing a, a watch party, please make sure that you are watching your own watch party, okay? Because you need to write down the list of names of the people that jump onto your watch party. And the reason you want to do that is so that you know who has actually shown a little bit of interest and you can then start a conversation with them based on the watch party that you showed. So if I go to my Facebook page, let me just share screen, share screen. Okay, so this is my, my Facebook now. So if I wanted to um, show watch party right now, I could go in and have a look and see who's done something. Sorry, this is my granddaughter's birthday. So I'm going to go to um, Jenny Evans because she did a really good, good Facebook um, just the other day. As she said, it was really a great um, input that she's had. So I need to go now and find her. There we go. And okay, so this is the Facebook live that, that uh, we all did on Saturday that Andrew did. So here it is here on Jenny's, on Jenny's page. So what I can do is if you look here, immediately I can start a watch party, okay? Andrew's already had 3,784 views off that watch party that he actually had on Saturday at about 3.30, okay? And from that watch party, there's another one, I just can't pick up what's happening there. It could be Jenny's watch party. So what happens is the actual live watch party of of um, Andrews, Andrew will be able to see who's going live onto his live, okay? But the moment I click this as a watch party, all right? So if I go start, so all of them will say, watch together with your friends or with a group. I click on this watch party here, okay? Then I can say, that says Michelle's watch party, okay? So I can say something like, um hey see what a group oops a group group of excited excited um um what can we say i don't want to say entrepreneurs excited um people were up to on saturday after noon what were you doing? Okay, so I'm going to post a question, what were you doing? And the reason I'm going to post a question, what were you doing, is because hopefully some of my friends will answer what they were actually doing when they go on. So I'm going to make it public. If I want to, I could just do it to my friends, or I could have a few friends just, you know, accept some friends that I don't want to listen to, or it could only be me, but it doesn't make sense. So I'm going to go public. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, start the watch party. So now this watch party is going to start on my page, there we go. So now I'm going to mute that, all right. So let's see if somebody complains that it's been muted. But yes, so now this watch party is playing on my page. If I want to, I can actually start inviting some of my friends to this watch, with, to this watch party, which would be highly advisable. So 
it, there we go. So Tatum Jade has watched, has started um, watching. So I've got my piece of paper. So I must go Tatum Jade. She's joined to watch. Then Michelle Lynn Jacobs is watching. Charles Madumo is watching. Now I can say my daughter's watching all the way from the UK. Hey guys. Um, hey guys. Thanks for hopping on to my watch party. Oh, I missed one there. Let's see if I can pick it back up again. I missed Tertia, so it looks like I've gone to. Okay, so there we go. Well, oh, Tamlin's joined. Um, so, M A R I N D A. Yo. Guys, do you see how quickly you now have to start typing in your names of the people that are are watching? Do you see what a good time this is for watch party to to be happening? Hey, um, so you can take screenshots if you wanted to, but it is a bit difficult. I'm going to just ask them: Can you hear anything? Because remember, I've muted my side. I don't know if it's actually playing live for them. <laughs> so it'd be quite interesting to know if they can hear anything. Um, let's see. Keith Daniels, Michelle Jacobs, hello there. Hello, my friend, how are you? All right, okay, so there's a whole lot of people that are jumping on onto my watch party. Um, Leandra, Faree, because now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, when we get off here, ask them how did they enjoy it, what did they, what did they find um, that they liked about it. There we go, Michelle says she can hear. So I can actually let this play now and have a watch party happening um in my <laughs> while well, i'm actually teaching you how to do a watch party all right so george butler's joined let's see um i'm going to stop share for a few, few seconds to you guys i just want to answer some questions i take street absolutely keith that's all <laughs> thanks for answering me that it is much quicker to quickly take screenshots of the people as they're going I don't need to phone John, George Butler and ask him what he thought. I don't need to phone Susie. <laughs> now, guys, okay. So now, what you should be all guys, what you all should be doing is you should actually be finding my watch party and sharing it. Now, here on the side, because if you share this watch party now, your friends are going to be watching this watch party and we're going to grow the, the viewers. So I'm going to share screen again. Go back to share screen because on the side here, you can see I can... Invite Jessie, <laughs> Jessie Lee Ward's a friend of mine. I can invite her. I can invite Susie. Um, Marianne Berger, I'm going to invite her to watch it. And Armstrong is already in the business. Tamlin's in. Michelle is in the business. Gugu, invite her. Adele's in my business. Lisa, oh, there's someone from Australia. Um, Carol, Angela's my daughter. Natalie, I won't invite you this round. Um, Claudia, I won't invite. Um, Bronnie, Bronnie. Let's give her Catherine. I don't know how many it's going to block me um, before uh, it says I can't invite any more people. There we go. It's only giving me these 10. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's another nice one. Oh, there's another nice one. Gosh, guys, look at all these people that I haven't even invited for a long time or chatted to for a while. And I'm just inviting them to listen to Andrew and us noisy crowd. Um, and Lean is already in, uh, in my business. Selma. Um, okay, so I'm just getting these people, and then Adele's listening all the way from, uh, 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 where's Adele, Claxdorp, she's listening, so guys, yes, so go ahead now, and you do exactly the same thing, and you can invite your people to listen, oh, there's a good one, okay, so you can invite as many people until it oh there's a nice one too there we go still learning some more so guys do you see the advantage of the what party i'm not saying anything andrew's doing all the talking all right he's doing everything that he's going to talk about what he's going to say um and these guys are all car and joseph because she's already in the business um oh so letitia accepted my invitation okay so she's at least um uh listening now uh, so she accepted that invite Karen is in michelle jacobs i wish i could um, remove, well, I don't want to remove that. I don't want to delete that cancel. Okay, guys. So the purpose of the watch party is for me to get my message out without me actually being the person who is saying everything that needs to be said. Okay. Um, oh gosh, I haven't spoken to that guy. Ah, oh, TP's joined. That's great, TP. And he was there on Saturday as well. So that's super cool. 
All right. So do you see how the watch party now must start working? Gerard Herod van Weg. Okay. Um, Herod van... I think you know him, George, don't you as well, eh? From uh, our other business, Gerard. He's actually listening. We haven't been able to move him across to this one, but <laughs> you never know. We might be able to do that now. Okay, so there we go. Oh, there's one I haven't written down. Uh, y -S -I -N -D -H -A. Now, what I want to, to ask, I'm just going to stop sharing again. Okay, guys, so what I want you to realize is that it is important for you to be on top of your game when watching um, who's coming onto your your group because once this is off okay you will not be able to pick up the list of people that hopped onto your your zoom and this uh so your your um watch party so it is important for us to to make sure there's mish they um they it's your turn you're on the zoom now they're talking to you interviewing you so there we go so now all of my people that are we're just getting a little bit bored with andrew are thinking oh my gosh now, now michelle's talking and michelle's speaking to them from a from a perspective of being um, in the accounting field, her credibility, all that kind of thing is is um, hopping on there as well, which is really, really, really super awesome. Um, so, Sison, Kunda, oh my goodness, guys, sorry, I have to write this. And Billy, I'm going to take your question right now. Prince Lou, short stalls, okay, because I need to just make sure all these people are joining. So, some of them have already hopped off um but some of them are still on so you guys could have hopped onto this didn't done the same thing either shared my one or go out onto andrews and share his again guys if you wanted to you can share this quite a few uh, quite a few times if you actually wanted to so i'm going to just quickly unmute um oh sorry um billy can you just unmute yourself i don't know if you can i've heard it. put your hand up again so i can find you up uh, I, I put your hand down instead of unmuting you my apologies so that you can just ask a question um, all right, or type your question in there. Um, allow participants to unmute themselves. Okay, Billy, you can unmute yourself if you wanted to ask a question, or you can just type it in the chat box. Now we've got Louisette answering um, some questions as well, which is really good. And uh, so she's also speaking from. Okay, guys, so here's another really good thing. Todd Falconi's just come on live as well. So for those of you who want to. Um, make sure that your team hops onto Todd Falcone and want to listen to to um, what he's going to say and get things going there. Mish, would you send the wave as it pops up on your screen? The wave. The wave? <laughs> what wave's popping up on my screens? <laughs> Mish, you're going to have to unmute yourself and explain to me what you mean. Would you send the wave as it pops up on your screen? Did you freeze? I see Hank is still there. Um, oh, the wave. Did we do a wave? Keith, are you there? George, are you there? Um, all right, I need to know, because it looks like everybody's frozen. Hello. Okay, there we go. At least I'm getting a chat there. Hi, good. All good yourself. Thank you, Ian. <laughs> I thought everybody froze. So I thought it was just a minute. Um, thanks, Stephen. All really appreciate it, Ian. Stephen, thanks so much. Okay, guys. So anybody want to ask any questions about the watch party and would like to Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Fluffy. Really appreciate it. Anybody want to answer any questions? Oh, there, I'm even on the watch party now. <laughs> Yogi's joined my watch party. Elsie Potfit, nice. Okay. Anybody else want to ask a question or are you happy with doing watch parties? Because come the 25th of October, Andrew's going to want to make sure that all of us understand how to do watch parties. And guys, you know, when you hear that any of us are going, now I'm, I'm replaying, I'm doing a replay, but um, what you can do as well, do I need to share the watch party first? Um, what's the best videos to use? 
Okay, thanks much, great. Is there any way we can invite people before we start? Yes, okay, so what you can do is before you started, um, <laughs> Doc and join Jaws, Keith, love it. <laughs> awesome. So, so what you can, yeah, he doesn't join mine, Keith, he joins yours all the way in Swanendam, hey? Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so what I would do, which is very, very important, if you want the greatest success from, from having a watch party, then what I would say is like, you set a time. I mean, like now I didn't set, let anybody know that we do, I'm going to run a watch party on my Facebook page. And the reason being is because I just wanted to demonstrate this for you. And I thought it would be nice to play it live um, and then sh physically show you the steps. But what would be ideal is if, for example, you know that Tuesday evening at um, eight o'clock, you're going to do a watch party. Okay. Um, and you gain, you know exactly, you've chosen your video, you know what you're going to do. So you can go back, you can do this one, you can go and have a look in, um, in, the, in Team GI Hugeness, uh, GI Hugeness's site, you can go and have a look at what Bruce Hughes does, you can go and have a look, and then find something that you want to, to do. Then you can actually advertise it on your Facebook page every like start off, uh, let's rather choose Thursday than Tuesday. So Monday, you would go onto your Facebook page and say, hey, at nine o'clock in the morning, midday, nine o'clock at night. Say, hey, I've got some exciting information I'm going to show you on Thursday evening at eight o'clock. Then on Tuesday, you do the same thing. Then Wednesday, you do, you're going to post every single hour. Don't miss Thursday evening. Um, on my Facebook page, I've got some exciting information that I want to share with you. It's going to be an exciting watch party that I'd love to share with you. The same thing on Thursday. But the difference being on Thursday, you're going to do a countdown. And the countdown will go in the next three hours. Please make sure that you've got in a Wi-Fi area. I'm going to be doing the most amazing watch party with some exciting information that I want to share with you. And then, the, and then you can say two hours to go, one hour to go, half an hour to go, 10, 15 minutes, 10 minutes. And then, okay, in five minutes, the watch party is going to be coming on. And so you can really make sure that the people on your Facebook page, your family and your friends know that you're going to be playing something, okay? You can give them a bit of a, a heading if you wanted to, um, or the element of the Zygonic effect, for example, is the element of surprise, and rather let build it up like that. So that's some way that you can make sure that you, you build it up, that people know that you're going to be doing a watch party. Okay. So that would be for be pre-inviting your, your people to the watch party. Please, when you do your advert um, the first day, you can also hashtag, um, you know, put your friends' names in the below so that it goes to their Facebook pages so that they can see that you're personally inviting them. So if I was going to do one, I could put in the in the comments section, Susie Jenkins, Michelle Bluchner, George Butler, and I can actually make sure that they personally get those invites as well from my Facebook page. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Um, and then doing that, that full countdown um, on your personal page. Then say, right, it's time to go and um, keep going from there. And sorry, guys, I've just seen some guy that I haven't even thought of in a long time that's just popped into my watch party as well. Um, okay, my watch party's just ended. I thought I want to write this down before he goes. L-O-A-T-E and, uh, and there we go. All right, so watch party's ended and you now end your watch party. Um, guys, my button for my ended watch party, no video playing. Watch party ended. There we go. So, um, end your watch party. Oops. Okay, let me just quickly just make sure. Cool. No video. There we go. Still running. Oopsie. Oopsie. There we go. Right. Okay, so it's watched. Perfect. Done. So you can add another video to that afterwards if you want to, but don't play too much about it. The video is done. The watch party is ended. Um, and now, there we go. There we go. Done. Right, watch party's over. Right, officially done. Okay, guys, so that's how you would actually make sure that you've done a watch party. And then it would...
Um, and so from my watch party, I got myself now today, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, I got 20 really, really, really good prospects that I hadn't even thought of speaking um, to that are on my Facebook page that I was like, wow, I'm surprised this person's even got on. Those are the ones that I actually wrote down from, from watching. The ones that I didn't write down, I missed out on. But um, please, that's why it's important for you to make sure that you, you understand what's going on with your watch parties and you know exactly how they're working and what you're saying and those kind of things. Now, I wouldn't suggest doing too many watch parties because then people are going to stop watching your watch parties. All right. So be very, when you have a watch party, have a watch party plan that's very uh, structured and deliberate and make sure that um, you can either do. Now, also, please remember, um, I just got one here from somebody. Hey, Michelle, I just saw your watch party. What is it all about? And could you give me more details? Here's my cell phone number. How's that, guys? I have a prospect responding back to me straight away. And I didn't even put her name down. So she was one of those that I missed. Um, let me just write that. Um, so there we go. So how cool is that, hey? So I've already one actually coming back to me. Um, and that's so awesome. And she's given me her cell phone number. And she's given me her email address. Like, I haven't even shared a link or asked her for anything. So, uh, lucky number 21. I agree, Suze. How's that? That's so awesome. Okay, so I'm excited about, do you see the result from, from a watch party? And also, I think this was a nice time of the evening, by the way, guys, just as a matter of interest. Um, because everybody's finished eating dinner. They've got home. And most of them are like trying to switch their brains off. And they're all playing on their Facebook pages anyway. Okay. Um, I had a prospect message me on message this afternoon after she watched it. Well done, Jan. That's awesome, 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 guys. Now, I didn't do anything. Exactly, Suze. Cooking dinner and listening. You're absolutely right. Um, so, <laughs> thanks, Nat. <laughs> now, this is something that, um, as, as you all know, Andrew and myself are sitting on Eric Bory's um, group and we, we're learning some of these things that the big people, the big guys are doing. And this is, this is the one thing that they're doing where, so they, you can speak to, to the team. So, anybody in your team, if you're going to share um, just something about uh, South Africa, the economics, e economic situation, and that you have an opportunity um, to help people out, that kind of thing. You can say to your team, hey, listen, get your people on, let them hear so that we can actually, um, so that your people don't have to do Facebook lives. All right, so this is some way that you can also be in control of what is being said in the Facebook lives as well. Um, but also, again, guys, like I said, <laughs> this one here, I'd love to now go to Andrews and just see how many, I mean, we said it was 3,000 something. It'll be interesting to see after this tonight, um, 3,700, I think it was, how many actually we've just boosted his, his Facebook live. Um, hi, Max. Hi, Matthew. <laughs> um, <laughs> how's it, guys? Um, so, so yes, yeah, so it is so exciting to see that we're getting results from, from this, even if it's just one person. But now, it's the follow-up guys please 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 when you do do a watch party it's now a personal message um there we go another one oh my gosh an old school friend that's like from whenever days ago um commented on her post voldic um what's stravinsky <laughs> i mean i think i last saw this guy when i was in probably set of nine or something like that and he's like saying hey what's this about and i think he's in um sweden or somewhere like that but anyway we'll i'll um touch sides with him too as well so i've got two two hits that are saying hey how's it you know all that kind of thing so how's it tessa you also popped onto my watch party so that's so cool um and the comments that are on my watch party so that's so super cool okay guys um so now it's to follow up please if you're going to do a watch party again and i'm going to say this all the, the fortunes and the follow-up so please now each person like um um well deck i'm going to click on him and say hey how's it long time no chat how are you doing how's the family and start a conversation my purpose of the conversation is to ask him what did he like best about what he listened to on this video Okay, because if I know what he liked best, 
I'm going to say, then, I, then my conversation can go in that direction of what he liked best about the video he's just heard. Then I can go along and say, well, you know, um, would you be interested if I had to send you a short video? Would you watch some more information about the company that I'm working with? And then I can send them my GBG link. All right. But ask them about, don't jump in too quickly, guys. Okay, don't jump in too quickly. Go nicely, start the conversation, find out what he liked about what he saw, um, and then ask questions like, for example, so, um, you know, because I, I know his age group as well, so how's retirement treating you? Um, you know, what are you guys up to? Have you, you know, what, how's the pension plan working for you right now? Those kind of things, and I can get really um, chatting. Where is this new, the other lady, Nadia? What I am going to do is, although she's a friend on Facebook with me, I can't remember too much how we became friends, but we've got 90 mutual friends. So let me go and have a look there. Okay, all right. Now I see the group of people that she's now, now I know where she's come from. Now I'll go onto her Facebook page. She loves horses. I love horses as well. So I can start a conversation about horses and that kind of thing. But please, the fortunes and the follow-up. Okay. And then just start your process from there. It's very exciting. So guys. Tell me, anybody got a question, quip, quote, or query? Or oh, you're still writing your names down from your own watch parties. <laughs> awesome. I love it. Oh, that's so beautiful. Great stuff. Anybody want to say anything? Okay, so this was a nice recap from Saturday's training. Um, it was very quick on Saturday. It happened very quickly. I hope this now, just re-looking at it again and how you can click on your watch party. Um, yes, uh, Barbara, and um, if anybody's got some um, um, YouTube videos, should I say, on how to do it on iOS, or if anybody's got some inf information on how to do it on iOS, that'd be super awesome. Post it on the group, on the Back to Basics group. 25 people on my watch party, Mish. Fantastic, man. That's so awesome. Write their names down. Get, get the list. Get the list. Okay, so, all right. So 25 people for Mish. Let's think about this now. Okay, so she's got 25 people. Today is Monday. Now, where is she going to work? Where's her focus this week? There's no guessing. It's these 25 people. They were warm market because they're keen on the video she's just watched. So she can say, in the next five days, I'm only going to contact each five of them and say, hey, thank you so much for watching my watch party. Or she can slowly start getting the conversation before she goes to bed tonight. She can just say, hey, thanks for watching my watch party. Um, how are things doing? But she's going to have to go into, um, you need to uh, defreeze 35 on hers. Awesome. So guys, now just work on five of them a day. Remember, you're going to uh, connect with those five. Um, try and see what, build a relationship, have a chat to them, go onto their Facebook pages, find some pictures, like some of their pictures, okay? So like some of their pictures on their Facebook pages, so then they're going to say, oh my gosh, she, I showed an interest in her watch party, she's showing interest in my pictures, all right? Find pictures that you will communicate about um, and, um, and take it on, on from there, all right? So, and these, you want me to accept your friend request? Let's see what I, let's see. Oh, there you are. Okay, confirmed. I've accepted you. And you'll need to defreeze. <laughs> awesome, guys. Okay, great. So, anybody want to, um, I found this very exciting. Uh, I just think it's amazing new release on us all trying to create new content. We don't have to do that. You can, um, play content from, and it stayed live on your Facebook page, and mine should still be um, up near the top of my Facebook page for a while, um, let me just go to mine, it stays normally, your watch party stays available for at least an hour for all your friends to see, okay, so it's absolute pleasure, um, so yes, it'll stay right near the top for at least an hour afterwards, so um, if somebody goes onto your page and they have a look or, you, or they're following you, it's for the next hour, it's going to be there. Whereas if you had just posted a video, it would have disappeared within um, down the feed. All right. Awesome, guys. This has been really, really exciting to, to see results so quickly and people having people following. Um, so please, if, if, for example, a watch party, 
so 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 think about this very carefully um you can do watch parties on the whim laptop video or and on youtube that's correct yeah so you can any any android device you can do your watch parties on which is so awesome um i was going to say um okay so jacques and andrew and bruce and then normally do their their facebook lives around about three o'clock in the afternoon a lot of you on this zoom are normally working at that time okay because they switch off for their families diarize that you know the watch party go and find it and then what you can do every hour on your facebook page the moment you know that they've they've done it Say, hey, go and listen to the go and listen to it as soon as you can so you know that the content before before you actually put it out. Then you can do a little um, advert, say, hey, at seven o'clock tonight, I'm gonna go do I'm doing a, a watch party of this dynamic entrepreneur who's made a lot of money, um, or whatever you want to say, okay? Um, or has been highly successful in um, helping entrepreneurs, business coach, whatever, whatever you want to do. Um, and then then post that as well then every hour say don't forget at 7 7 30 7 30 7 30 um go and do that and then then you just do what i've done now you replay the watch party so if you missed them live make sure you diarize it so that you can go and do it um from there as well and please don't forget that also um sometimes susie goes on with her personal growth or something that's motivational that you really think is really good as well. So don't always do watch parties about the business. Do watch parties about other things as well. So people are motivated about your watch party. So use the 80-20 principle, all right? So 80% of the time you'll do a watch party of something that's um, <laughs> another one. Um, okay, I've just watched your watch party. Give me some more information. So I've got like two that are hounding me down here on my, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, 80-20 principle, 20% 20 of the time that you post, do something about entrepreneurship, um, network marketing, the profession that you're in and that kind of thing. And then 80% of the time do, do other things um, as well. Okay, so make sure you don't vomit the business. Absolutely. And if it's a watch party, you never end up vomiting the business. Philip, uh, do you want to unmute yourself and say something? Or you're just saying goodbye or hello to me. <laughs> Let's see if we can unmute Philip. Okay, Philip, you're unmuted. Okay, no, Philip. All right, Philip, just type in there. Any other um, questions? Do you know, also, if you know somebody's done a really, really, really good um, um, business presentation as well, you could do that if you wanted to do that. Um, but rather than go too much about your business, go around your business, you know. Um, and if you do do a watch party yourself, um, and you were talking about income streams and how important it is to have various different streams of income that not you, no one should have all the eggs in one basket. And you read something, a quote, you could read a quote from Warren Buffett or one of those guys, and they would say, hey, you know, any um, multimillionaire will have more than one stream of income. And you know what I have found, and then go and say, this is what I've found, and this is my journey. And so what I've chosen to do is I've chosen to, to utilize um, three three different areas to bring in three different streams of income. One has been, been to, to buy gold, two has been, so I'm buying and saving in gold. Second one that I'm doing is I'm actually involved in the cryptocurrency space. And then of course, I have um, a leverage by coaching, mentoring uh, others and generating cash flow from uh, making sure that I help other teams and that kind of thing, uh, people to, to generate additional income. So, and that's, that's how you could actually talk to, to the people around you and, um, you know, share, but Hey, you know what, give me a one in the, in the, if you are interested in more, give private message me or, or if you're interested, just give me a one. If you're watching this live, give me a one. If you're watching the replay, press two, then I'll know, you know, if you're catching up with me later or not, but send me a message and let me see if I can help you in any way whatsoever to look at diversifying your asset portfolio and see, see where it is that you could get involved in, in creating uh, cash flow. 
Um, anyway, even if it's not about that, please can you share with me what your dreams and that are. The suggestion is to ask people doing the watch party to hold the phone horizontally. It gives a better view in Facebook. Um, yeah, so you're right. Okay, so if you look at, let me just go onto the screen here quickly and I'll share screen. Just close that one there. Let me just mute that one. Nice tip from Philip Van Royen. Okay, guys, so if you look here, you'll see that there's two black spots on the side of, of Andrew and very narrow face when you actually look at it from here. So if you had to do a watch party, uh, turn your phone sideways and it would fill that whole screen. Does that make sense? Great tip. Thank you very much for that. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Any other tips, hints, and, and that that we could actually uh, share with each other so we can start making... Obviously, if somebody else has done the Facebook Live, it's, dif it's difficult. Um, but, um, yeah. Um, let's see. I've had four shares already, 10 comments, and I've had um, <laughs> some people coming back to me, so it's really awesome. Great. Let's see what's another one here. If you have headphones with the mic, it's, it's clear. Oh, thank you, Susie. Yeah, it's a really good tip. Guys, please, if you do have headphones, plug them in. It just makes... Um, the, especially if you're doing the Facebook Live, if you're doing the Facebook Live, put that in so that people can hear you nice, crisp and clear. Um, and you know, also you can use, um, uh, check your bell. <laughs> yeah, please don't swing, please don't swing your thing because you're going to make everybody sick and, and seasick and all the rest of it. Okay, so try and keep it as still as possible. All right, and check your background. I agree with that as well. Um, make sure it's um, not too, too busy and also, if there's any other outside noise, if you've got your ear earphones and if you're actually doing the live yourself, then it does cut out a lot of background noise as well, which is pretty cool. Awesome. Great tips. Great tips, guys. Create curiosity. Yeah, create curiosity. Don't vomit your business over people, guys. 80-20 principle. Um, and then, yeah, you know, you can... You can weave anything into to helping people understand. Um, you know, you could even do one yourself a Facebook Live about, um, you know, are you happy in the, are, are you happy in the workspace? Um, you know, I'd love to hear, hear from, from some people because the more interaction you have from people, the nicer it is, it is as well. If ever you're in a situation where you um, are around somebody that's, that you can interview, please don't forget to interview them and then also um, ask your team to, to do that on a watch party and be very deliberate about what you're interviewing that kind of up as well. Okay. So, um, great. Super. Everybody happy with that? I think it was very exciting this evening and well done for all hopping on and getting your, your watch parties going. And, um, it's amazing how many of your fr friends and family followed, which was really cool. Um, and then again, so that was a nice one that people watched. So you could do one again at 10 o'clock tonight, or if you wanted to, because there's another group of people that are awake at 10 o'clock at night. Okay. You can do it at five o'clock in the morning. The same one. You can do the same watch party at different times over the next week because you're going to reach different a different set of your audience over the next week. So right now you've hit the the quarter to eight, quarter past eight or 7.30 to, to eight o'clock group. All right. So they came on and it was Monday night. So maybe try even at 10, 11 o'clock. If you can't sleep, hit a watch party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree, Keith. No, my, oh, no, my one family did watch. She watched all the way from the UK. So, so if you can't sleep, watch party time. You'll be amazed at who's awake um, early hours of the morning and uh, who you can actually chat to and who you can also get on, on as well. Um, <laughs> Susie also says no one from her family watched as well. <laughs> it is what it is, eh? <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. Um, and yes, so yeah, test, test. If you want to do one, I love that idea actually that I just came up with. Sorry. I just want to love my, one of my own ideas here and that's playing the same watch party different times of the day. I mean, like that's genius. <laughs> okay. I'm, I can go to bed now. I've had my genius thought for the day. <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, I will set this recording. I will upload it right now and make sure it's on the groups. Please share it with your team. Remember, and please watch out for um, 25th of October, time to be confirmed, and we're going to have a countdown, 
Pleasure Suze was awesome having everybody on and um, sharing this with everybody. Pleasure, Ian. Looking forward to chatting to you, Ian. Um, let me know when you and Jovi, we still got to actually have a, a chat. Um, but yes, guys, so please don't forget to uh, share this with your teams and then follow the process when we start the rollout plan for the week that's going to build up to, to that massive big watch party that we're going to be having. Adele, thanks so much. Awesome chatting to you guys. Thank you for hopping on. And um, looking forward to chatting to you all soon. Okay, take care. And please don't forget Thursday evening to hop on to the Back to Basics growth. If you're not, your finances will only grow to the size that you have emotionally uh, grown as well. And if you don't get onto that or you're grumbling why things are not happening, then maybe you need to hop on on Thursday night and become part of the Thursday night groups as well. Okay, guys, so please don't forget that. It will be posted, Back to Basics growth. So online, see Susie online on Thursday, guys. Take care. Cheers, everyone.